Cammy Brown joins us live from the house dresser. Hey, Cammy. Good morning. So a lot of times, a lot of these antiques have great stories to tell. They're not just that shabby chic look for your home. And this happens to be one of them. This is from the World War II era. I should let you know, too, some of this not for sale. These uniforms in here were given to Anita, who's the owner of the antique store. And Anita, what is this trunk that you have here? We know it's from World War II, but what exactly is it used for? It's what we call a Navy wardrobe trunk, and this is where they carried all their belongings. Uh, everything that they needed for an officer was stored in this trunk. And shipped, of course, on the ships wherever they were sent. Now, how did you acquire this? This came from a family in Woodland. It belonged to his grandfather and uh, came in just before the Fourth of July. So it was, uh, you know, a perfect timing. Perfect right? timing. How much it. would something like this go if you were going to sell this trunk? How much are you asking for it? This would be two hundred and seventy-five dollars. It's in pristine condition. Would most people display it like this, or is this something that maybe uh, someone who's a history buff wants to have it and not even put it in their home, but just to have it? I, it, because it's a flat top trunk, you can lay it down and use it as a coffee table or storage. But most people who have wardrobe trunks use them for display for other garments and things that they might have. So probably something similar to like what you have done. And these uniforms were given to her by someone as well. Their um, child passed away, and so they held on to those and then gave them to Anita. What's interesting, she's been doing this for so many years, she really doesn't even have to go to the estate sales. They come to her. Let's move back here really quick, Anita, so we could show this typewriter. A lot of people are collectors, which is how you were able to get this. This is also Circle World War II. How did you come to acquire this? Um, a lady brought it in. It was uh, something that she had found along the way. And when I researched it, I realized the Remington 5 is an old typewriter. And the particular uh, number on this tells me that it was made and used during World War II, about and, 1942. And then let's end with this right over here. This is actually an architect's desk, and we can't really show it because there's things on it, but the top opens up to be an easel. Now, how do we know specifically for architects? I didn't know they had their own desk. It, it's circa 1840. It came from the East Coast. The family came from Pennsylvania. And um, they told me it was an architect's desk, but I do research everything, and I did find it in one of my catalogs, a very similar uh, style. So it, there's an easel, it's adjustable on the inside, and there's little cubbies for all their tools. And sometimes we open it, and sometimes we close it. And the patina of a piece uh, like this is just priceless. You cannot find this in new furniture. It's just soft as silk. Right, and it'll and it'll last for years, unlike a lot of the furniture nowadays. How much would something like that go for? This this is uh, um, marked down now, and it's it's about six hundred dollars. Okay, Anita, a wealth of information. Really quick, Anita, if people want to find you. You're down here in downtown Woodland, right where you're located. I'm at 617 Main Street, right between 1st and 2nd Streets, right in the heart of downtown Woodland in the historic district. Okay, there you go. The house dresser, come on out here and check it out. Thank you so much, Cammie Brown. Well,